So today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I'm going to be testing out some brand new makeup, a bunch of stuff I haven't used yet. It's going to be a very chillax, laid back video. I have been waiting all freaking day for a package in the mail and it was out for delivery only for them to tell me five minutes ago that it's not going to get delivered until tomorrow. So I thought, oh great, now I have to switch things up and I got to film that video tomorrow. So I thought I would film a get ready with me today. So let's get started. It's so weird for me to see my hair this color, like when I pick it up in my poquito pelo and you don't really see like the light color. Like it's so weird for me. I haven't had my hair this dark in a long time. Like this is my natural hair color, but I haven't rocked my natural hair color since like high school. So it's crazy to me. <laughs> It's weird. But yeah, I'm just gonna dive into this video. For primer, I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer. Oil-free makeup gripping base and pore refiner and hydrator and all day grip technology. Wow. I actually tried this for the first time yesterday, so it's not the first time I'm using it, but I didn't really notice it being like grippy. You know how some of these gripping primers, like the Cover FX one, the Milk one, those kinds of primers have like a really intense, tacky, sticky finish, which I really, really like. This one does not do that. But it was a nice primer. I really liked it yesterday when I used it. I felt like my foundation went on really smooth. I like it, it's not like super hydrating or moisturizing, but I feel like it's an all around decent primer. And I did notice that my makeup stayed on all day, so. I'm actually gonna be testing out a brand new foundation. Well, this is kind of like a tinted sunscreen. I am so excited to try this and it's 8 p.m. at night. <laughs> So it's not like I'm gonna be testing this throughout the day or anything, which is probably a really bad idea to do a first impressions on this like at night without like testing it outside because this is SPF 50. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup. And it says it has antioxidant enriched pollution protection. I'm gonna take my, oh, did you see that? I was trying to like catch it on camera, but I don't know if you saw that. It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation Brush. You know what's weird is that every time I put my hair in poquito pelo, even when I was younger, I always felt like, oh my gosh, this is the hairstyle I used to do in my past life all the time. When I lived in a little cottage, like in the 20s. Anyway. <laughs> it's a little swirl. This is not my color exactly, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Wow, this smells very pleasant, like edible almost. It gives me a cake, a slight cakey scent. Oh my gosh, that smells really, really nice. Is it the SPF? I don't know, but I like it. Oh my gosh, mm, it's like creme brulee. I like wanna rub my brush near my nose so I can smell it. Oh, and this coverage is actually really nice. But honestly, the shade selection on this sucks. It has like eight shades, it's ridiculous. So you might have a hard time picking your shade, just FYI. Wow, this is really, really good coverage. And I think that's awesome, especially for something with SPF 50. I'm gonna take a little bit more and you know, put it on my neck. Really quickly, I wanna take a photo of this. I wanna do like a flash photo, even though I would normally take a picture of my foundation when I have everything on already, so that I don't look so washed out with just like a foundation face. But I wanna see, since this has such a high SPF, how it looks in flash photography, and then I'll take another one with my full face of makeup. Okay. Wow, okay, so I see a little bit of flashback, but Barely not that noticeable at all. I'm gonna see I'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup and then we'll take another picture But it looks pretty decent to me and I like the finish like I like how it's sitting on my skin It looks very natural very fresh, but it still has Really really good coverage. I wouldn't call it like super super full because you can still see my little shin Shins it, but I like it Okay, so I don't have a new concealer to test out, so I'm gonna use one I haven't used in a while, my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. Oh, I forgot this was a fast concealer, and you have to blend it out fast. Also, just because it's new and it's cute, I'm gonna take the brand new Yellow Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna bounce that over my concealer because this concealer is a little drying. Like, it's really amazing, I love it, but it can look a little bit drying on my dry skin, so I like to go over it with a beauty blender or a damp sponge. 
I'm gonna take my Thrive Cosmetics loose powder and set that concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do my eyes. This isn't really a makeup tutorial or anything, but I wanted to recreate a look Mac Daddy uploaded on his Instagram the other day. I thought it was so, so pretty. It's just like a simple eye look. He has falsies and it looks like he has a smoked wing liner on the top, but what stands out is his lower lash line. He has like a really pretty rainbow effect on the bottom to like celebrate Pride Month and I wanted to recreate it. I wanted to recreate it with the Morphe palette. This is the new palette that they came out with to celebrate Pride Month and I think it's really pretty. It has a bunch of rainbow colors on the inside. It's really, really gorgeous. But I'm also gonna use a couple of shades from the Alyssa Edwards palette. I think the purple and the blue, because this one doesn't have like a deep matte blue, but I think it's really beautiful. And the best thing about this palette is that like 100% of net proceeds of this collection goes to the Trevor Project. So you know if you're purchasing this, like it's going to a good cause, which is really nice. I thought my camera was telling me it was dying. I was like, no, 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 I just charged you. Bust alarm, bust alarm. But yeah, this eye look is super simple, so I'm gonna do it really quickly. Maybe throw on some tunes at home and relax. So I don't know how much of that got recorded. Someone is effing with me. There is an entity in this house that is messing with my electronics. I feel it. I was recording myself doing my eyeliner. I don't even know if you guys got any of it. Probably not. But I'm using my Schwing eyeliner by The Balm. Why did I ever stop using this? This is honestly the best liquid liner to ever exist. It's the most matte ever. Like it doesn't get more matte than this. But I mean, they're not even. They're just really mad. For mascara, I'm actually gonna be testing out two different mascaras. They're both brand new to me. This is one of them. <laughs> Too Faced sent over their brand new Damn Girl mascara. And it comes in this big mascara, but it really looks like this. I tricked you, I tricked you. So I'm actually gonna be testing two different mascaras. I didn't know which one I wanted to try out, so I'm gonna try out both of them. I'm gonna do the Damn Girl mascara on this eye and then the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara on this eye. The only thing is I have a good eyelash and a bad eyelash. Do you guys at home have that? These eyelashes always look better in mascara than this one and I'll be wearing the same mascara but this eye just looks better. I don't know what it is but we're still gonna try it out. But first of course I'm gonna curl my lashes. Okay, so the first thing I noticed when I first opened this mascara is that the wand looks extremely similar to the Better Than Sex mascara wand, only even bigger. Like, I think it's even fatter. This formula looks a little ticker. Uh, we'll see. I don't know how I feel about this mascara. Like it looks really intense. And I hate testing out mascaras when I have liquid liner on because I can never really tell. But as I was applying it, I just knew this isn't gonna be a mascara that I'm gonna reach for a lot. Even though I like really intense volume and I thought this was gonna be for me because I do like the better than sex, it's just too much. 
like to EW, like too much. You know how sometimes mascaras will like ball at the tip of your lashes? That was happening. Like they make them look real thick and not super fluttery and pretty. Let's try out the Laura Mercier. The wand is really, really interesting. It's like a spiral wand. Okay, so immediately I do like the Laura Mercier mascara better. I feel like my lashes look pretty similar. Like I can't really tell the difference between this eye and this eye. This one was giving me a similar issue where it was balling at the top, but I was applying a lot of it because I felt like it was a little bit drier than what I was used to. I still like how it applied better than the Too Faced one, but they both give very similar effects, I feel. I just think the Too Faced one is a little bit thicker and it clumps up a little bit more. Oh right, so the eyes are done. For bronzer, I'm gonna try the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. It's not really a bronzer, this is a setting powder, but this one is in the shade tan slash bronze. So I wanna see if it does bronze up the skin a bit. I was swatching it and it looks like it might be too light for me, but we're gonna test it out anyway. Oh, you can kinda see it. It's kinda showing up a bit. Oh, I can totally see it. Oh, this really does have a soft focus effect. I feel like I'm blending it onto my skin and it's like smoothing out my skin. Oh my gosh, this really does have a soft focus effect. That's crazy. And I'm not really used to that with a bronzer. Very pretty, very pretty. And then I actually want to test this out. This is the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow Palette. This is the tan one. It comes with this cream highlight and then the rest are powders. And this is a bronzer. And even though this is a bit too deep for me, I do want to try out a couple of these shades. I'm going to take the blush and bronze powder and further intensify my bronze. Just a little bit. I'm using a very light hand so it doesn't come off too pigmented because this bronzer is a bit dark. By the way, this is an e.l.f. brush, the 107. Awesome for really light contouring or bronzing. And then for shits and giggles, I'm gonna take the shade Super Glow and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna like super glow my bronzer, kind of. And then I'm just gonna add this to the cheeks as like an underneath glow. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use this shade. It's called Glow Impact Powder. So let's get that impact. Ooh, very pretty. Really nice formula. It has like that Amrezy Anastasia formula. Very nice. Really, really pretty. I love highlight. <laughs> I love makeup. <laughs> it's just like so fun. It just takes your mind off of all the bullshit in your life. You know what I'm saying? Ow! For blush, I'm taking a brand new blush. Well, it's not new. It's like super, super old. But this is the new Milani Luminoso blush. I actually got a DM from a fellow YouTuber here, Christina. Christina Raleigh. And she told me that this is actually like the very original Luminoso. Like back in the day, this when they first came out, this is the original Luminoso. And then they changed it to the version I had. But I've had mine for a really long time. Longer than I care to admit. <laughs> But I thought mine was the original because I've had it for so long, but supposedly this is the original. I haven't tested it on my cheeks yet, I've only swatched it, but they took out the glitter, so it's a lot smoother. The only thing is it's a lot more sheeny, like it's a lot more highlighting than the Luminoso I had. That I don't really like, even though I like a glowy blush, it's like extra glowy. Now it's definitely like a blushy highlight. I mean like a highlighty blush. I kind of feel like the version I had, the one that's been around for a few years, just looks a little bit prettier. I mean, I don't love the glitter in it, but I just feel like it shows up a little bit more on the skin and it's definitely less highlighty. But this one is still really pretty. It's just not as, I just don't like it as much. <laughs> Even though that looks so pretty, but now it's like, which one's the blush? Which one's the highlight? Do you, know, do you see what I mean? Like it's so intense. I like it. 
Okay, we are pretty much done. Now all that's left to put on is my lip. I'm actually gonna take one of the Makeup Forever Artist Nude Cremes. I haven't tried these yet. They came out with a bunch of nudes, but I really wanted to test it out today and talk about it because for every artist nude creme sold in the US in June, like for Pride Month, Makeup Forever is donating $2 to the Hetrick Martin Institute for Underserved LGBTQ plus youth, which is amazing. So I wanted to use it in today's video. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one. This is 03. Ooh, that is so pigmented. Oh my gosh. Mm, it smells like skincare. It smells good. Wow, I didn't even need to dip back into the tube. That was so pigmented. And it feels really, really nice on the lips. It's definitely like a liquid lipstick if it didn't dry down, like if it stayed a little bit juicy, you know? It feels so nice on the lips, wow. But I'm gonna throw a gloss on top of this. Just because I recently got the new Persona Cosmetics lip glosses in the mail and I really wanna test the shade pink. I really like these glosses, they smell really, really good. And I just wanted a pinkier touch to the nude. My, it smells so good. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This was a very simple get ready with me. I was especially impressed with the, oh my gosh, I gotta take a photo. Okay, yeah. I looked down so that I wasn't blinded by the light, <laughs> but I can definitely see that there's a flashback to this. I'm pretty sure if I take a picture in the dark, you'll really, really see. Let me go do that. I'm gonna go take a photo in the dark. Okay. Actually, the photo I took in the dark doesn't look that bad. The only thing that looks terrible is my hair. Oh my gosh, that is so frizzy, wow. <gasps> It'd be like that sometimes. To be honest, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, there is flashback, but it's nothing that's too intense at all. Especially since it has SPF 50. I mean, personally, I wouldn't recommend this foundation if you're gonna go out clubbing, you know, like at night. I honestly would recommend this for the daytime if you're gonna be outside because the SPF is so high and that's awesome. So I don't know how many people would be taking photos with this anyway, but I thought I'd throw it in there. But I really liked everything I tried out. I did wanna talk about something important in this video, but I wanted to save it to the end. Um, so for those of you who haven't asked me a million questions about the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, then you can click out of this. For those of you who have been DMing me every single day and tweeting me every single day, I just wanted to say a couple things. First of all, I wanna say that I'm really sad that a lot of people have taken my silence in a negative way. I felt like all weekend I was getting bombarded with questions and a lot of people were telling me that my silence was irresponsible and I don't care about my subscribers, I'm not looking out for them. Why am I not telling people not to use these lipsticks? It's just so many things that I keep getting told every day and I just wanna clear the air. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but on my Instagram stories, I posted that I received the Jaclyn Cosmetics PR set and I had asked you guys that day if you wanted to see lip swatches and then so many things started popping up all over the internet and I started to see the lipsticks people were getting and um, I decided to back away from it and it wasn't because I didn't want to offend Jacqueline so many people were like oh she wants to stay on the good graces with Jack no I mean I feel like I've proven time and time again that my loyalty lies with my subscribers Always. That's who I have at the end of the day is you guys, not other YouTubers. Trust me. You guys are by far the most important thing, but I felt like getting on camera and giving you misinformation was just gonna end up being worse in the long run because I'm not exactly sure what is happening with these lipsticks. I don't know anything that's going on. I saw Shay's video, I saw Raw Beauty Christie's video. Me and Christy have been speaking about this like, privately and she honestly didn't think her video was gonna get the attention that it did. It was just giving you her personal experience with the lipsticks that she bought. I have a PR set. I personally didn't purchase any of the lipsticks, but when I got my PR set, I knew so many of you guys wanted to see a video on it. And after everything that's been happening, I went looking through my lipsticks and opening them and swatching everything. And I honestly did notice two of my lipsticks were very, very similar to what Shay experienced. The other, I think there's 20 lipsticks, the other 18 were completely fine. And I was swatching them forever, like back and forth. Now, I don't exactly know what's going on with that. I know a lot of people are like, oh, the PR sets are better than the ones you purchased. I had two that had issues, so I don't think that's necessarily true, but I don't know for sure. So I cannot sit here and give you guys an opinion if I don't know all the facts. I am sitting here and I am waiting for a statement from 
the brand and I just don't feel like it's right for me to sit here and tell you oh this is 100% mold because I just don't know I know just as much as you guys know I think maybe there was an issue with her lab maybe they told her they did quality control and they didn't I also do feel like these lipsticks have been sitting around for a while and Maybe there was just an issue with that, with the lab, and I don't know. And it sucks because so many people are looking to me for answers and calling me fake for not canceling the brand, but I just don't know what's going on. All I can tell you is I personally would hold off if maybe you really want to buy these lipsticks and you're just waiting for my review or I don't know what, I would personally wait, just see what the brand says. I know a lot of people are scared that their lipsticks might be contaminated. I would just hold off. Don't wear them until we know exactly what's going on, until Jacqueline releases a statement until the brand releases a statement because I think there's a lot that we don't know and there's so many unanswered questions so until then I can't really say anything I'm sorry if you expected me to say more I mean I am concerned just like all of you guys so for those of you asking me to post a lip swatch video I'm gonna hold off and um, I hope they fix the problem hopefully if there is a bad batch that got like contaminated they recall it if that's the case I mean again I don't know but I just wanted to come on here and clear the air and just to let you know that my silence isn't me going against my subscribers at all I don't want you to think that I would never be honest with you guys I just always want to be super informed I just wanted to mention that um, I hope you guys aren't upset with me and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from but yeah that's sorry I was like a random rant at the end of this video but I've been getting so many comments um, about this and I just wanted to touch on that but yeah guys that completes this video this was a simple get ready with me um to celebrate pride month thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye primer oil free oil free you're supposed to hold me down but you're holding me back i'm gonna take my damn it and that's the sound of me not calling you back. Shh. Damn it. Bing, bing. Then I saw the nuts that got it in me. Ah! Oh, sweet Jesus.